Straight Outta Compton is a movie set between 1986 to 1995 and focuses on the rise and fame of the popular and very infamous hip-hop group known as N.W.A. As they change and begin their humongous influence on not just the music industry but also the world around them. Now this is a biographical film where you actually get to see the three more famous members, Dr. Dre, Easy e and Ice Cube, kind of actually grow up in a way whilst at the same time you get to see what life was like for these guys at the time, which ultimately led to their very famous and very, very brutally honest lyrics. In the film you get to see just how horrifically bad the conditions are that these guys are actually living in. And you get to see just how desperate they are to get off the streets of Compton and actually make it in the world. And you actually do get to see this at the beginning, like for example there's a scene on the bus where Ice Cube is writing lyrics about his time growing up on the streets of Compton. I guess another thing that actually did make this movie work is the realism of it all. You actually start to feel for these characters as you see them being treated unfairly just for who they are. And mind you guys, this was way before the huge popularity with hip-hop that we know of today. And also back then, this thing was so new that people were actually starting to feel threatened by this new subculture that was starting to rise up from the ashes. Okay guys, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you here right now. I have no idea who the actors are that played Easy e Dr. Dre, and Ice Cube. In fact, I even looked up their filmography whilst I was making notes for this review, and they hardly have any combined movies between them. But I honestly do have a feeling we're gonna hear more about them in the coming years because they were fantastic in this movie. Another thing that I thought was great about this is that you actually see the guys in NWA having ties to other rap artists. For example, Snoop Dogg and Tupac. I thought this was really good because you get to see the much younger versions of themselves because they have dreams like Easy e Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. They want to be just like them and you see just how much of an influence they're having on these guys. I think that was the main point of this movie where we actually got to see just how inspirational the members of NWA were and that they still are to this day. This isn't just all about the big popularity and the rap music and all of that. I honestly do think this movie focuses more on the brotherhood that these guys had, just how close they started to get and then it eventually fell apart. As time went on and you actually got to see just how that was affecting their lives and actually a very negative way. This film is two and a half hours long. Now usually with something that long you would expect that it would kind of get boring near the end and it would actually start to drag on quite a bit. But this may actually surprise you guys. I was never bored at any point in the story. I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys here. I honestly do think this is the best movie I've seen so far in 2015 and that includes movies such as Age of Ultron and Inside Out. I've decided folks to give Straight Out of Compton an A+. Plus. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I have a question for you. What did you think of Straight Outta Compton? And also, there's another thing I want to ask you guys. What do you think of our new background? I think it's a lot better than last time, given that I was just standing in front of a pink wall in my previous reviews. I am literally just on the other side of the room to the wall that I used to record in front of. Seriously, I'm not joking. It's in the exact same place, in the exact same house. Let me know what you guys think about this. And other than that, I've been Tartarus Pictures, and I will see you all later. Good night.